Hi, this is Sally, and welcome to SmartFox TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please click and subscribe. Hey everyone, Kim here, and today I want to talk about the awesome Miyazaki. So Miyazaki, just a small background here, he's the director of famous works such as Spirited Away, uh, My Neighborhood Friend Totoro, um, Ponyo, Howl's Moving Castle. So you might know some of those names, so let's get into it. So if you remember the background on Japanese manga and anime, many of them have anti-war themes. Um, straying away from the use of uh, science and technology for mass destruction. This was kind of all based on the atomic bombs that was dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So I just want you to keep that in mind as we're going through uh, Miyazaki's life right now to understand how he came to create the works or his visions and ideas in relations to the works that he has made. So Miyazaki was born on January 5th, uh, 1941. He joined uh, Toy Animation in 1963, and, and just note that Toy Animation is another very famous um, animation company in Japan. He's most uh, famous for Spirited Away, which gained worldwide recognition, and he's the founder of Studio Ghibli, which also has a few other works in there. And also keep in mind about the, the time he was born, so 1941, and you should know that World War II ended in 1945. So his early life. Uh, Miyazaki was born again on the 5th of um, January 1941 in town in Tokyo. So mind you, there were some air raids in this area. Um, he's the second of four sons. His father was the director of Miyazaki Airplane, so he, they manufactured um, rudders for fighter planes during World War II. And during the war, when Miyazaki was only three years old, his family um, uh, moved to Utsunomiya, which is a, a, another area around Tokyo. And after the bombing of Utsunomiya in July of 1945, uh, Miyazaki's family moved to uh, Kanuma. So the bombing left like, a very lasting impression on Miyazaki, who was age four at the time. And remember in one of the previous, um, last week when we talked about the heroes and heroines, we talked about Kenji Fukasaku. Fukasaku and his life was also shaped by the events of World War II in which though he was a teenager at the time. So common themes of Miyazaki films, environmentalism. So Earth's fragility, dislike of modern technology. Um, and you could see this actually in many of his films. Pacifism, he has very, he has a lot of anti-war themes. Sorry for the misprint there. Um, feminism, so describes female characters as brave, uh, self-sufficient girls that don't think twice about fighting for what they believe in with all their heart. And as you know, from most of his films, if not all, all the protagonists or the main characters are all female. And I want you to note that that definitely stems from his mother who was sick, um, was sick for most of the time and he had to take care of her, but she definitely um, was very strong as a mother towards him, um, even though she was sick. So uh, also common themes is love and family, fears Japanese children are dimmed by a culture of overconsumption, overprotection, uh, utilitarian education, careerism, techno-industrialism, and a secularism that is swallowing Japan's native animism. And if you see my notes at the bottom there, animism is the uh, attribution of a soul to plants, um, inanimate objects, and natural phenomena. And you could see that in, in my neighborhood friend Totoro, you know, um, where the main character there is becoming friends with the spirits of the forest. Um, as well as any of his films, I do feel have a component to nature um, in relations to feminism, other than the fact that most of his protagonists, if not all, are female. Um, they're very strong willed, um, like in Spirited Away, uh, when the daughter you know, get uh, get spirited away with the parents and does her best to get her parents out of there. Um, so this is just a small background on Miyazaki. Honestly, when people look at films, you know, you always have to remember that media is a rep representation of um, of a certain thing. And for, for Miyazaki's films, it definitely deals with his personal experience as well as Japanese culture. 
So this is Kim, and I hope you enjoyed this piece on Miyazaki. And just know when you are watching his films or any films in, uh, in general, try to look in the symbolism of what you're watching. Uh, what are the underlying meanings there? Thanks and have Strange a great but day. true facts about Asia. Asia has a total land area of 44,579,000 square kilometers. The second largest continent, Africa, is only about two-thirds that size. About 60% of the world lives in Asia, and it also has the highest density of people at 87 people per square kilometer. Speaking of density, 7 of 10 of the world's largest cities are found in Asia. They are Shanghai, Beijing, Istanbul, Karachi, Mumbai, Guangzhou, and Delhi. Stick around for a few more strange Hello, Tracy here with the latest news. Ever since the PS5 launched in November of 2020, it has been difficult for retail stores and consumers to get their hands on one. Both the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic and previously reported that AMD, which produces chips for PS5, expected shortages to continue into 2021, but it looks like it's set up to extend into 2022 as well. Sony recently been vocal in suggesting it wants to surpass the second year sales of the PS4, which totaled 14.8 million units. However, issues with that particular chip needed might get in the way of achieving that target. Ideally, Sony would want to keep up with or even exceed the early sales of the PlayStation 4. It's disappointing news for those looking to get their hands on a PS5 as it looks like demand will continue to outstrip supply for the foreseeable future. The PS5 isn't the only thing having shortages. Chick-fil-A is restricting the number of sauces it's giving out to the customers because of limited stock. The chicken chain said Wednesday the industry-wide supply chain issues, which are affecting essentially every aspect of the economy, have resulted in a shortage of select items that Chick-fil-A serves, including sauces. In response, Chick-fil-A is the only giving customers one dipping sauce cup per item ordered at many of its 2,600 U.S. restaurants. The chain said it's working to fix the soft supply problem as quickly as possible. And fast food restaurants have been hit especially hard in recent months with both a labor shortage and the supply chain issues. For example, ketchup packets have come in short supply amid heightened demand. Heinz recently announced a 25% increase in production. Fried chicken wars are putting a strain on the poultry population. Major chains including KFC, Buffalo Wild Wings, and Wingstop are paying steep prices for chicken, and suppliers are having trouble keeping up demand because of the difficulties attracting workers. Luckily for Chick-fil-A, the company says it has no shortage in chicken. That's all for Smart Fox News. Strange but true facts from Asia. Asia hosts the 10 largest malls in the world. The largest mall is the New South China Mall in Dongguan, China, boasting a total leasing area of 659,612 square kilometers. Speaking of New South China Mall, it is unfortunately a ghost mall with over 99% of its stores remaining vacant several years after being built. Groups have sought to revitalize it, but the floors remain largely unused today besides the IMAX theater, some restaurants and shops, and the playground that were added in more recent years. We hope you enjoyed today's Strange But True Facts. This is Kim. This is Tracy. Hi, this is Sally. And thanks for watching Smartbox TV. Stay, Stay foxy! foxy.